Do you really need premium fuel for your car? Or is it just an expensive myth? Let's dig into one of the most controversial debates in car ownership. When you roll up to the gas station and see the price difference between regular and premium, you've probably wondered, is this premium fuel really worth it? Here's the deal. Car manufacturers and fuel companies claim premium fuel improves engine performance, boosts efficiency, and prolongs the life of your vehicle. But here's the catch. They don't tell you that this applies to a very small percentage of cars. If your car's manual specifies that it requires premium fuel, then sure, you should use it to avoid damaging your engine. But if it just recommends it, things get murky. Studies, including those from the American Automobile Association, AAA, have shown that cars designed to run on regular fuel often see no significant benefit from premium. You're essentially burning money, not fuel. Think about it. Would you pay extra for designer bottled water if tap water hydrates you just as well? Now, let's talk about marketing. Fuel companies use buzzwords like cleaner engine and better mileage to sell premium. While premium fuel does contain higher octane levels to prevent engine knocking in high-performance engines, the truth is, for everyday cars, this doesn't translate to magical benefits. It's like wearing running shoes when you're just going for a casual stroll. You're paying for features you don't need. But here's where it gets tricky. Some drivers claim they feel a difference when they use premium fuel, even if their car doesn't require it. Is this real or just a placebo effect? Some experts say it could be a combination of slightly better additives and psychological satisfaction. After all, who doesn't want to believe they're treating their car like royalty? On the flip side, ignoring the manufacturer's required premium fuel recommendation could harm your engine in the long run. If you own a luxury or performance vehicle, skipping premium could lead to knocking, reduced power, and costly repairs. So, what's the takeaway? Premium fuel isn't a one-size-fits-all solution. For most cars, regular unleaded is just fine and won't affect performance or longevity. But if your car manual explicitly calls for premium, it's not a suggestion it's a rule. What do you think? Is premium fuel worth the price, or is it just a brilliant marketing strategy? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insider car tips.